and Maya, who are presenting on Mary, who are presenting on the Institute for Global Solutions and the Impact of Immersed Learning from Claremont Secondary School. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mary Arrego, and this is Zofia Bookman. We are grade 12 students from Claremont Secondary High School, and we are um, students from the Institute for Global Solutions at our high school there. Um, this program is a four-year program that spans from grades 9 through 12. There we go. <laughs> um, this program, it provides the environment to empower students to become climate activists and youth leaders. The curriculum inspires critical thinking and innovative perspectives. All right, so the program, we have four pillars that we have noticed the program bases on. The first one being holistic teaching. We really focus on having a full wide range lens that covers all different perspectives. We focus on bringing in people from all over, people from all walks of life and all different backgrounds to educate us on different perspectives and different life experiences that can help us form our own perspectives. Uh, the second is discussion-based learning. So a major part of this program is having Socratic discussions. So the teachers will present an idea in the classroom and then sort of see how it plays out. Everyone takes their own opinion, their own um, sort of stance on a topic, and we talk it out and learn from each other. And this is really powerful for um, creating like presenting skills and sort of forming your own um, sort of place in our own school and also just in the world. Yeah. Um, so another pillar is world perspective. So we really focus on what's going on all around the world. We're not just focused on, oh, what's going on in our little town. We look at what's going on across the world. like example what's going on in Gaza right now like we discuss that and once everything's going on so it really brings it brings everything together and shows you how interconnected our world is because you can see that something happening across the world is also affecting what's going on in our small town here so it just it brings together like brings you a sense of community in your town but also with the rest of the world and how everyone is interconnected everything affects everyone um, and then lastly empowering student voices so as Mary said this this is very based around student discussions student presentations we have lots of opportunities to talk in class, voice our opinions, voice what's going on, um, and we're put in front of many public speakers, or politicians, members of parliament, archaeologists, that like, they just kind of educate us and help us find our place in the world. They empower us, empower our voices as we go through high school. All right, so we're gonna start in grades nine and 10. This is a social and science hybrid course. Um, it, it really inter, uh, introduces the interdisciplinary learning style. So this is what we talked about, the idea of everything being interconnected, one thing affecting the other. Science and social studies, we often categorize them as two very different topics, but in this, it brings them together and it really talks about how you can't have one without the other. They're both affecting each other. And this, it really removes the <coughs> barriers that we have in our learning system. So it provides the opportunity for students to connect things and if they're passionate about something that involves both things they can work on that or one that involves just one like it really provides the opportunity for like flexibility in what you're passionate about yeah and it really grade 9 and 10 is about building those building blocks so that you're ready to bring it to the next level in grade 11 and grade 12 when we go on these trips we meet with even more important people and we do huge projects it builds those critical thinking skills you have to think well this is happening but what can I do about it so what now what what do I do next so it's really, this builds the foundation of bringing that interconnectedness into your thinking and bringing that just interdisciplinary inter knowledge into what you're doing. All right, so grade 11 is a social justice and political studies course. So this is where we study different forms of governance. We study them from all around the world, how we got to our um, democratic system we have now. We have a mock election where we create our own campaigns have our own debates, discussions, our own scandals. We have all the things, we cover it all. And it really is super informative and it creates informed voters and it really inspires a passion within each student to be a part of our 
um, government system and to use their voice and know that like my vote, my voice, it has an effect and it matters. And if I want to be heard and if I want to see the change that is happening in no matter what area that is, whether that is in climate change or social justice issues, that that is where the action is going to happen is in what you choose to do with your votes. Yeah, and then so as well, part of the grade 11 program is that we go on a trip across Canada. So we train from uh, Vancouver all the way to Winnipeg and we went to Parliament there. We met with the Member of Parliament, we met Wab Canoe and he talked to us. We went to the Human Rights Museum and saw everything about that, which you can see um, in the corner there. There's like me and Mary and one of our other friends were like writing down. Uh, it was like a prompt they gave us. And then we go on to Ottawa, we go to questioning period. We met with Elizabeth May, um, which, yeah, there's us like in front of the parliament. Um, and then like the train, we were on the train for 56 hours, I think, which is really fun, but also really hard. Um, and then we went to Montreal, we went to the biosphere in Montreal, and then we go all the way to Quebec City and get a tour of old Quebec um, and see kind of all the war monuments and everything. So it's an amazing trip and it really just informs you of your country and things you would never really realize about your country um, and just brings, yeah, it brings everything together in this course. Yeah, and something I'd like to highlight here in this photo we've got over here, um, our course holds space for international students. So people who come from all over the world and they choose to be a part of this program. So on our trip across Canada, we were lucky enough to bring like a student from Russia across Canada and from Germany, we've had students from Italy. Um, and it's so, so crucial for the whole like world perspective that we're cultivating in this course to hear perspectives of students from all across the world learning about Canada, teaching us about their country, teaching us about, you know, the things that they go through. It's super amazing. Yeah, and then so in grade 12, we do environmental science. Um, and there is a heavy focus on indigenous knowledge and indigenous ways of learning and indigenous ways of living as those are kind of the roots of where we came from and the sustainable ways that you could live. Uh, yeah, and lot, just basically all around environment and what we can do to improve our environment. We, our course was based around a book called Braiding Sweetgrass mm -hmm. last year, which was like an amazingly written book and just brought so much, it brought so much perspective and like light into how like our kind of modern day science is connected to the indigenous science and how we can kind of shift to connect everything together, we can make so many improvements in our world. Yeah, and also like the issues that we're facing now, we see that in the indigenous um, sort of perspective and their relationship with the environment, they don't have these issues. And that is something that is so eye-opening that we're not listening more to their voices. And our main focus, um, the like peak trip that we have in grade 12 is a trip to Haida Gwaii where we get to meet with all of these different people who have lived on Haida Gwaii, people who this is their land, this is their culture, their lived experiences. And it was such an amazing experience to be able to see that and to be able to really recognize the power that there is in um, listening to other people's lived experiences and learning from other cultures. Um, and then so in grade 12, we also do a capstone assignment where we pick an issue or a project that we're passionate about and we work on it. So in our classroom, we had a, we still do have, we have a cafe. But um, before we took it over in, I think, January, it was, it was more of an idea. It wasn't really running. There wasn't a lot of customers. We were basically like losing money. Um, and so we took it over and we, we worked the scheduling system. We made it sustainable. We brought food in. We Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it just became a community and an actual like working sustainable business. Yeah, and our main goal with this was to create, a, like Sophia said, a sustainable business. So we made sure that we researched all of our providers for where we were getting our coffee from, our milk from, all of these things so that we were supporting other businesses that were also passionate about creating zero waste and having a, not only like not creating a negative impact, but creating a positive impact and doing better. And um, sort of rebuilding this like whole, um, like even the food industry, there's a lot of things that are quite, you know, toxic and damaging to the environment. And so sort of formu formulating the idea that there can be a business that does more good and that can actually help the environment have a positive impact was something that we really loved the idea and wanted to sort of work with that.
And then finally we have our four key takeaways from taking this IDS program and being in it for, I guess, three years, but we've done all four years. Um, so first is that there's just so much power in your voice. We've learned from, we went to a conference in September where we were speaking to all these like health professionals and all they wanted to hear from was our voice. So we've learned that really voicing your opinion and voicing what matters to you um, really does matter even if it seems like when you're 17 that it doesn't matter because people, adults want to hear what you have to say. They want to know what you want to see in the future. Mm -hmm. And also, having these trips, we've learned that there is so much more to discover in this world. There is always more learning, and I think the best thing that this course has given me is a passion to learn and a passion to be more knowledgeable because with that knowledge, we have a greater responsibility but also a greater power to make a difference in our world. Yeah, and then you can learn so much from your peers. When we have these class discussions and hear perspectives from like so many different people, it really just brings a new perspective to your thinking and everything. So just always listen to your peers, come into everything with an open mind because that is how you get the most out of whatever you're doing. Yeah, and I mean, just adding on, just be passionate about what you're doing. You know, everyone has goals and everyone has things that they want to work towards and you will find the people that will support you for your goals. And once you have that, just run with it and work at what you love because when you are passionate about something, other people become passionate and it's just a ripple effect. And, the progress and change that can happen there is incredible. So thank you all so much. Thank you.